Well, now it's time to talk about Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Although you were born in Bethel Park, you're from Pittsburgh. Yes. How do you like your Pittsburgh hat? Oh, this one sucks. <laughs> do you want to change? Did huh? you see the front of my golf cart? It says Steelers. Yes, it does. All right. So, you're a Steeler fan. Oh, fan? <laughs> What's your greatest memory of the Steelers? The, uh, the greatest team that ever played pro football. And that's the Steeler team of, uh, where well, they're all in the Hall of Fame today. Jack Lambert. Jack Lambert was one of them in the Hall of Terry Fame. Terry Bradshaw. Bradshaw was another one. Franco Harris. Franco Harris Lance was another Swan, one. John Stallworth. I'm Mike supposed Webster. to be the one that knows all those guys. That, that leads us into, what was it like growing up in Pittsburgh? What, if someone had to say, did you like growing up in Pittsburgh? How would you answer and why? Well, it was a, it was a, uh, it was a city that had the, the, uh, had champions, championships, and we all knew it, and we all loved it. And we all loved the Steelers to this day. I can get in fistfights arguing about the Steeler team. <laughs> what about... Um, With small kids. <laughs> what about growing up, um, your brothers and sisters, did you guys, um, how well did you get along, brothers and sisters? Well, my brother and I used to fight every minute of every day because we, we were pretty much the same size. We fought until I got bigger and then we quit fighting. Uh, I was a pa pacifist. Now what about what about your sisters? I didn't fight with uh, Clara Ann because she could beat the crap out of all of us. She was too big. What about Gretchen? Gretchen was the fighter. So, all of you kids played an instrument, right? Yes. So, you're, so was that kind of a rule of the house? It was. It was what Germans did. Really? Sure. Didn't you know that? Well, I knew that, but they don't know that. Yeah, but you didn't play anything. I didn't. Because you, didn't, you, didn't you didn't have any talent. True that. Um, uh. I did play the guitar for two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, until I had to play the F chord, and that's really hard. And I said, "That's too much." But do you know the, the instruments? Uh, what did Claire Ann play? Do you know? She played piano and uh, this. Cymbals? No. Hard. No. It's like the worst you race game. You don't even know what the instruments oh, were. Oh, an accordion. Yes. 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 She played an accordion. She should have played the clarinet. Her name is Clarin. She played the accordion very, very well, and people loved her to play the accordion. Did you like it when she played the accordion? Sure. I liked it. Um, so she played piano and accordion. What about Gretchen? Gretchen played the French horn and the violin in the band. In the marching band. The Cla violin in the marching band? <laughs> Clarion played the... Uh, That's a... The marching... Uh, the she, marching band. Yeah, the she played the bass drum. She yeah. played the bass drum as well? Clarion did in the marching band. Clarion played boom, physical boom, instruments. Boom, yeah, but she was a very good piano player. And she could whap that uh, bass drum because she was big. That's why we never fought with her. I understand. What did Mo play? <laughs> Mo played the trumpet, sort of. <laughs> and what did you play? Drums. So I took lessons more than any of the other kids. Was that because they were more naturally musically gifted? No, I was more gifted, but they, they, uh, I, uh, Clarion just kind of played piano by herself, <laughs> learned, taught herself to play. Mm -hmm. So she didn't have to take lessons. We didn't pay for anything if we didn't have to. Right. We're old school. Um, so did you play in like the marching band or anything? I played in the marching band and the orchestra. And I could read drum music, which not many drummers can because they just 
flash yeah. with their hands. We've seen the movie Drumline. We know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, Drumline is not true at all. Were you in the marching band at your high school? Yes. And your high school was what? Bethel High School. And what was your mascot? The Blackhawks. Pick, pick, pick. <laughs> what is that? A fly? What That's is that? what the Blackhawk did. Okay. All Take right. your eyes out. Take your <laughs> eyes out if you were careful. When you were a little kid, though, did you have any heroes? Were there sports guys or movie people? Or, I mean, who were people that you were like, oh. Roberto Clemente. He was played in 1971. You were 42 <laughs> years old. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you were a little kid. Well, Roberto was my favorite baseball player. All right, that's... And one of the greatest baseball players that ever lived. He never got enough credit for what he did. Um, well, let me ask you about that. What 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 was your like? What was what was what was a Sunday like for you? Sunday comes around. What's a Sunday in the Halps of Bethel Park when you were growing up? We watched the the girls, the two girls, go to a Catholic church, and uh, watched my dad curse about it. Now, did, did she take the girls to Catholic Church and your dad take you guys to Lutheran Church? No. She took the girls to Catholic Church and uh, she took us to Lutheran Church. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, now, how, how about uh, that, fans? What, what, why, what was going on there? Well, he didn't go to church. Your dad? No.